Hey guys and welcome back to Castle Crush and today we're going to be using a catapult deck that I made here and we haven't talked about the catapult in detail that much but it's basically a card it's a ranged card that will hit your opponent's castle over troops that are in front of it now of course the card itself doesn't it's not a super super strong card by itself it's a little bit like um <clears throat> it's a little bit like the siege ballista except it's a lot better for actually uh hitting the castle and such so it basically shoots over all of the troops that are in front of it and just hits the castle so it works well if you can get something like you know some tanky cards like golems or mud elemental in front of it and I threw in some angels too and some orc warriors and was like, why not create, you know, a, a stack? And, um, I mean, it makes for a pretty interesting deck. Now, there are some times where it's like, well, then the, they instantly sort of focus on that one lane and sometimes the catapults get taken out, but, uh, we'll make some adjustments if that keeps happening. Then the main other part to this deck is the rage card. And you couple that with the tank and the catapult, and it makes for a pretty fun deck. So, let's actually open these chests first. We have a free chest here. Blizzard and Fortify, and this one, Pirate, and Bomb. So, the gold chest... No epic in that one. Executioner and Fortify and let's see if I can get a good victory chest. Ooh, I got an epic Golem, Blizzard, and what's the epic going to be? It's a Genie Lamp. Awesome. Let's see what's in the store. I didn't check. Okay, it's a, it's a demon. Demon, Mud Elemental. I should probably get some Mud Elemental coins. Uh, yeah, I can... Do the mud elemental. Why not? And that's a 1,000 gold upgrade. All right. Let's get into this deck. Okay, so let's put this deck to the test. And as usual, I don't seem to get the mana rituals in my starting hand, which is really annoying because I like getting them. Otherwise, I have to wait. But we should have a golem out soon. And once we have the golem, I can pair it with the angel. Now the angel is... It's an interesting card. It's a card that on paper looks really, really good. But when you use it a lot, you start to realize... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you start to realize that um, the angel gets targeted a lot. Like, it just gets targeted a lot. So... Uh, I'm going to try and get that going for whatever reason. Okay, so Mud Elemental's back out there. See, this creates a situation where, like, my uh, catapult sort of gets targeted too. Whether or not it's intentional, it just ends up seemingly getting targeted. So, uh, we'll see. I've got that. Nice. That's good. They didn't have any Infernos or anything like that. <laughs> Those caused some problems. Looks like it says Waffle Mix. Again, no Mana Ritual. Like, I put two in this deck and I don't have them. Uh, I'm definitely going to play the Orc Warrior. Mm. Mm. I think I have one Arrows in this deck. Based on the Archers and the Skeletons, I might need... Okay. Yeah, this is a problem. Come on, something useful. Alright, we'll just try to tank this. Fortunately, I'm in big trouble right here. Uh, I'm just going to try and save this a little bit. Hmm. There we go. There are those. So hold up gonna wait and do that and then I'm actually gonna do 
this. Ooh, okay, this is more successful than I thought, sort of. Oh, again, two catapults, I think, is too much. I think that's a wasted slot there, is what I'm finding out. Because uh, I don't think the catapults... They don't hit troops, so... At least not as far as I can tell, they don't. Okay, so I replaced one of the catapults with an arrows. So... Let's give this another try here. I don't want this to become too much of, like, an angel tanking deck, but that's sort of what it is, I guess. I could have replaced an angel with, um, with the arrows instead. I mean, there are some disadvantages to having the angels there. And if I didn't have the angels, it's possible that I could run two catapults, two arrows and be able to spread them out more because I wouldn't be playing all in one lane and then they wouldn't know which lane to use things like Inferno on because when you play one lane it really really sets things up for Inferno um so that's just kind of what ends up happening and come on no 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 oh okay good very very good Got to be careful. Come on, please get in front of the angel. I don't have time for this. No! Oh my goodness. And yeah, of course I'm going to get the two arrows right when I don't need them. Mm. Alright. And I'm still waiting here. Doing war actually whoa whoa <laughs> whoa orc warrior and mud elemental doing work that was not how I drew that up to be again I didn't really come across a catapult though in that match so I don't know if this is really what I want um again the angels they attract so much attention that's what I don't like about them. They attract a lot of attention and they immediately get that lane immediately gets targeted every single time. So what I was thinking was maybe if I played like one tank card in each lane and then like a catapult in the one lane, a catapult in another lane, maybe they'd have a better chance of doing something. I have no idea, but I would really like to start off with a mana ritual. I don't know why that can't happen. Do I not have it in this deck? I thought I had two of them. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, they're going to rush me here. And I'm just going to set up anyways and not worry about it. I'm actually going to block the warrior because that's kind of the biggest problem. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we're going to do here, I'm going to actually back that guy because the Jester was going to hit the Angel. It's thing when it gets all the way backed up like that tends to hit the Angel and uh, it's not so good. Come on, let's get some tanks in there. Now I've got a chance to the Catapult, let's get it set up. Alright. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, I took it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that was close. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a that was a cool one. All right, finally get two mana rituals to start out. So that means I can play an Orc Warrior, and I'm going to just let the Golem sit there, and I'll get it out now. I'd like to have an Angel, but you can't always have everything you want. So I'm just going to try and capitalize on that a little bit. And okay. Well, it didn't work out so hot, but... Mm. We'll see how this goes. I could have played the catapult. I'm a little bit, like... Alright, hold on. We're just going to slow this down. 
that was an unfortunate draw. And um, we're going to get the Mud Elemental out. I don't think I need to play those arrows either, but... Ooh. Hmm. We're going to get the stack set up. Let's stack, set up the stack here. And I know that's not going to take those guys out, but... That will. Okay. Hmm. Tough situation. Uh, let's go ahead and play Rage. Try to set this up anyways. And get that guy out. Set up another Rage. Come on, come on. So close. So close. Yes, I've got him. Yeah. Nice. Good win. Good win. All right, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments section about this video and if I should do more videos like this. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Maybe subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.